weeks, we're going to go through the human endocrine system topic test today. And we are starting off with your multiple choice questions. Which one of the following hormones controls the metabolic rate? Ladies and gentlemen, that is thyroxine. And thyroxine is secreted by the, uh, sorry, the thyroid gland. Thyroid gland is controlled by the pituitary gland, but it is secreted by the thyroid gland. You can hear the, the words, the beginning of the words sounding the same. And uh, it responds to TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, which is secreted by the pituitary gland. Ladies and gentlemen, um, also, if there's an under secretion of thyroxine, we call it hypothyroidism. And then we have a very slow metabolic rate. But if we have a very high metabolic rate, it's probably because of an over secretion of thyroxine, and we call it hyperthyroidism. An investigation was carried out to determine the effect of growth hormone on children with a particular disorder that causes their height to be below average height expected for their age and sex. So we're talking about growth hormone here. The following procedure was followed. 740 children with the disorder were included in the investigation. They tested a lot of people, so that increases my reliability of the result the initial height was measured and then they were divided into two groups group a was given a specific growth hormone and in that was injected every day for three years group b was not did not receive the treatment so group b that's your control so we have something to compare against the height of the children of each group was then measured that is my the Dependent variable, and the following is a list of variables in the investigation. Children of the same age, okay, so that means that's a controlled variable. Same sex, that's a controlled variable, and the same disorder, that's a controlled variable. The nutrition given to the children might affect the results, so that was kept constant. They were given the same types of foods to eat. The type of growth hormone used, okay, so we either give them the growth hormone or we don't, but the type of growth hormone that was given to those that are in group A was kept the same because we only want to test for one type of growth hormone. And then the height of the children at the end of the investigation, that's my, uh, that's my dependent variable and that is going to change that I measure. I cannot control that. So which one of the following combinations of factors that should have been kept constant, controlled variables during this investigation? Okay, so that was one, two, and in this case, it actually included three because we only used, we only used one type of growth hormone. We only used one type of growth hormone, not more than one type of growth hormone because we only wanted to test the effects of one type of growth hormone. A bit of a trick question there. Then, people from there, in an uh, extract from a gland and of an adult monkey was injected into the bloodstream of a young monkey. It caused the young monkey to grow abnormally tall. So we're probably talking about growth hormone here. From which gland was this extract obtained? That is obtained from the hypophysis or the pituitary gland. The hypophysis uh, or the pituitary gland secretes the growth hormone. The following are effects of the secretion of different hormones. An increase in blood glucose levels. So that could be done by two hormones. It could be done by glucose. One, please con don't confuse it with glycogen. Glucagon is secreted, so glycogen can be converted back into glucose. But it can also be done by adrenaline in emergency situations. Adrenaline. An increase in the heart rate, so that's adrenaline. 
an increase in the amount of digestive enzymes. Um, I'm not sure there, but uh, adrenaline won't do that. And an increase in the blood flow of skeletal muscles. Adrenaline is going to do that. So which one of the following combinations of the above effects is due to adrenaline? I thought they're going to ask about adrenaline when I read the combination of things that they're asking. So that's one, two, and four. And so the correct answer is C. The level of thyroxine in the body is controlled by the... Um, okay, so there's two things. Firstly, the one that's secreting thyroxine, that's the thyroid gland. So this is definitely applicable, B, uh, uh, C uh, or B. And then let's take a look. What controls the thyroid gland is the pituitary gland because it secretes TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. So the correct answer for 1.5 is Let's go on to the second question, which normally is our terminology question. Apologies, let me just try and move this. Okay, yes, uh, so it is our terminology question. <clears throat> A hormone that stimulates the mammary glands to produce milk is pro lack think of lactate a lactose that's milk uh, lactose sugar uh, lactose is a sugar in milk uh, I'm lactating I'm producing milk so prolactin pro producing milk organic chemical messenger secreted directly into the blood by the endocrine gland is called hormones so those are that's a, a nice definition for hormones Ductless glands secreting hormones directly into the bloodstream. That's an endocrine, endocrine gland. And the hormone that regulates the amount of salt in the blood. Um, let me just double check again on that one for you. Secreting the salt in the blood is, of course... Uh, my aldosterone, aldosterone, uh, that is secreted by the adrenal glands, also called the bi kidneys. So that is aldosterone. Secrete substances into ducts that lead into uh, cavities uh, in the body that lead directly to the external environment is called an exocrine exocrine gland. Those are, for example, your salivary glands. Question three, another investigation, uh, investigative question. People with type 1 diabetes mellitus are usually insulin dependent, must inject themselves with insulin because they're not, control, they're not secreting enough insulin or they're not secreting insulin at all. To control their blood glucose levels, it has been determined that people can also lose their ability to secrete glucagon, which is the other hormone that, uh, that converts glycogen back into glucose. Within five years of being diagnosed, and um, they became glucagon deficient, so they didn't have enough glucagon either. During stressful situations, adrenaline is secreted, and adrenaline can also convert glucagon uh, or glycogen into glucose and um, they tell it to you here which has the same effect as glucagon on blood glucose levels. An investigation was conducted to determine the influence of adrenaline on the blood glucose levels of type 1 diabetics, so people who have diabetes from a very young age and do not secrete any insulin. It's not that they are insulin resistant. Uh, resistant. Uh, because of lifestyle choices, which is type 2 diabetes. So this is type 1 diabetes. Now, we're glucagon deficient. The investigation was conducted as far as 100 male patients. So nice, this increases the reliability of my results. With type 1 diabetes mellitus, who were um, also glucagon deficient, 
participated in the investigation. They were then given the same amount of food because food will affect the glucose levels and water at the same time for the period of three days. The blood glucose levels were measured in the morning of the third day. The solution of the low concentration of adrenaline were then administered intravenously. It was injected into them, not given orally. After 20 minutes of blood glucose concentration, each, each person was measured again. Uh, the blood glucose levels before and after administering adrenaline were then compared. And name the gland that secretes glucagon. That is your pancreas. Your pancreas secretes glucagon and insulin. Identify the dependent variable in this investigation. Independent, sorry. Independent variable in this investigation. It's the adrenaline. Adrenaline was given. Okay. Then. From there, so for some reason my mouth not, is not moving, there we go. State three other factors that should have been kept constant during the investigation. Same amount of food, same amount of water was given, same activity level, because activity level is going to um, use up some of that um, uh, sugar that's being eaten. Um, same age uh, could also be one of them. Um, um, uh, the, the amount of adrenaline given. So not the fact that I'm either giving adrenaline or not giving adrenaline, but if I'm giving them adrenaline, I need to give all of my test group, not my control group, but my test group, I need to give them the same amount of adrenaline. But there's quite a few factors we have to keep constant that might affect the results. Explain why the adrenaline was injected instead of given orally. Now, adrenaline is a protein. All hormones are proteins. And so because it's a protein, if we take it orally, it's going to be denaturated. Uh, and so if it's denaturated, then it's not going to work. Um, also, if I inject adrenaline, it works a lot faster than taking it or orally. Explain what would be expected, the expected results after adrenaline was injected into the patients. Okay, so we expect that the glucose levels will start to pick up um, and glycogen levels will start to come down. Name a reason for the use of 100 patients in the investigation instead of 10 patients. So this has to do about the reliability of my results. Um, the other question similar to this is when I, when I want to make my question more valid. So the validity. Now this is not about validity. Validity is about my control variables being kept constant. So that is about 3.3 validity. But I'm increasing the size of my sample because I want to increase the reliability of my results. Question four. Study the diagram below. Okay, so identify organ A, that is the liver, um, and hormone 2. Okay, increases blood sugar levels, that's glucagon. Please don't mix up the words glycogen and glucagon. Glucagon. Uh, I almost did it now. Okay. Organ B that is uh, secretes the hormones, and that uh, that is of course my pancreas. Name the disease that may develop from the under secretion of hormone one, which is insulin, and that is of course diabetes mellitus, or di we can say short just diabetes. And how do hormones one and two travel via organ A via the blood? Via the blood. Okay. And that is the topic test. Thank you very much.